Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a career, money, and finance reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and this is for July, August, and September of 2021. But don't worry, if this reading comes across your page and it's after that time frame, everything happens in divine timing and the message comes to you when it's meant to. So for that matter, you can check out any of my previous readings as well and see what resonates with you. Okay, so without further ado, my darling, let's get into it. Guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding their career, finances, and money for July, August, September 2021. What does Capricorn need to know regarding their career, their finances, and their money? Okay, so I see you're going to be... You're going to be offered something, but you know, I don't know how you feel about it. Um, it's up to you if you want to take it. You're going to like, mm, somebody's going to be really excited to hire you or, or do something with you. Um, I'm hearing like collaborate, um, present an offer to you, you know, uh, but you're like, mm, like, I don't know, you know. See, we have the Knight of Cups here, which this is, you know, somebody approaching with an invitation and they're like really excited about it, very passionate about, you know, what it is. And here you are with the Eight of Cups. You kind of like, mm, I don't know, I may not, I may not take this. I'm not sure. I might pass. Now, this can also go if you're looking to present something to someone and this is you. Okay, and you're excited and you're like, yeah, okay, I'm making this presentation. You know, they may not, they may not accept it. And I hate to be the bearer of bad, bad news, but this is life. It's not all rainbows and lollipops. You know, we hit snags in the road sometimes. So my channel here, I tell you the truth. I tell you like it is. I'm real with you. Um, life's not positive 100% of the time. It's not realistic. That would be the perfect world, and we don't live in the perfect world, so uh, I'm being honest with you. So either someone's going to present something to you and you're not interested, or you're going to present something to somebody else that you're, like, really excited and creative, um, really excited, excuse me, and passionate about, and they may not be interested. So let's see. You know what? So, okay, so there's no interest. Then what? If you're not interested in their offer, then what? Let's let's tackle both parts of this, okay? So to the people that are having an offer made to them and they're not interested, then what next? What next? Okay, now pay attention to which one is you here, all right? So if you're not presenting anything to anybody, well, then this is you, okay? So this is going to be your answer as to what to do next. So somebody is presenting something to you and you're like, man, I don't think so. I'm going to move on. What are you going to do next? Because then the next card I pull is going to be for the people that are presenting something to someone else and they're not interested. Okay, so then what did they do? So pay attention and keep tabs on which part resonates with you. All right, so to those of you walking away, we have the King of Swords here. All right, so this is an air sign male. Um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This can also be somebody that's very outspoken, uh, no bullshit kind of personality. Okay. Um, this can also be something that is in the field of uh, like psychology, um, military, police officer, a lawyer. You know, something um, of that nature, okay? So that might be something in that field that, you know, a job or whatever, a position is offered to you and you're like, meh, I don't want to do it. So, for example, somebody can come up to you and be like, oh, yeah, you know, the, the cops are hiring, you know, do you want, you want to go and get an application, you know? And you're like, mm, not really, no, I don't. So you'll like be, you'll be outspoken about it, I feel, and be like, no. 
no thanks, I don't want to do that, you know, and you'll just move forward. Now, whatever this might be, you pass on that because you want to go into this field. So this could be like, hey, you want a good position at like Best Buy? Uh, no, I think I'll, I'll wait to take like the police test and, and I'm going to go that route. Or no, I may join the military because this is also that field of work. Or no, I think I'm going to go back to school to be a lawyer or a paralegal or something of that nature, you know? So uh, whatever it is, you, um, it could even be psychology, like I said. I believe I said that. Um, I'm also getting like correction officer. You know, you might choose to be a correction officer. So it doesn't have to be that sign, okay? Um, it could just be that energy or that position of work that you're looking to go towards, okay? So yes, okay, my guides are telling me yes, that, that's what it is. So you're going to be offered something that someone's excited about, like, hey, yeah, I think this would be great for you. And you're like, no, I'd rather do this. And that's what you're going to do. Now, it could be this person, this, you know, energy of this person is going to assist you with that. You know, like maybe you have somebody that's like, oh, yeah, I can get you, you know, higher on the list or, or whatever the case may be. But that's the gist of what's going on here for those of you that this resonates with. Okay. So now this is if somebody's offering you something and you're turning it down because you want to do this, okay? Now, for those of you that this is your great idea that you're presenting to somebody, whether you need financial backing or a partner or whatever the case may be, uh, let's pull your card, okay? So your card's gonna go here, all right? So this is your card for those of you presenting an offer. So what are you going to do after your offer gets turned down? Oh, you got two cards. All right. All right, let's see. So what are you going to do for those of you make your offer it gets turned down? Okay, so six of swords. You're going to go towards a better situation. So you're going to go, okay, no problem. You're not interested. You don't want to do it. Fine. Uh, I'm going to go someplace else. You know, I'll take the the experience and I'll move forward from it. Ah, here we go. See, look, you're both dealing with somebody. I love this. So you're like, I'm going to go towards a better situation. I'm going to ask somebody else. I'm going to get another opinion. So that's basically what you're doing here. Now, this can also be someplace around water, just so you know, if that resonates with you in any way. Um, six of pentacles. Um, I'm sorry, six of swords. Six of swords. Is going towards a better situation. It could be a trip, a journey, someplace around water. So you may, you know, travel to go and see someone else. This king of pentacles, this earth sign man, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Now this is somebody that is financially stable, wealthy. This can be somebody that owns their own business, somebody that's very grounded and in tune with nature. So you may say, oh, okay, this person isn't interested no problem. I'm going to go talk to this person. I think they're more likely, they're more interested, and you may have to travel to go see them, um, but it'll be worth it, okay? So let's see. So see, you got options. It's not it's not the end or be all here. All right, so let's see. What else does Capricorn need to know regarding their career and finances? June, July, August, excuse me, July, August, September, of 2021 or whenever they find this reading okay here you're on the right path keep doing what you're doing because it's working all right so don't give up your dreams don't give up your goals i know it's so easy to get discouraged when you get turned down but keep going i have to remind myself that all the time you know trust me for those of you that are entrepreneurs i get it i actually created and made now i'm not showing you this as like shameless plug that's not what it is this is i'm sharing my experience with my fellow entrepreneurs i actually created my own oracle deck initials traits and features oracle deck and it is the only one on the market i have no competition and i'm not saying that so you can try and create one and <laughs> compete with me because i already have this um what do you call it um copyrighted um but yeah, initials, traits, and features, oracle cards, and it's good for everything. Not just to get soulmate details, but you can get, I'm going to use them in this uh, reading so you can see how you get more details and stuff like that. Even helps you find lost objects. Like it's just, 
endless the possibilities with these cards but you know it took a lot of thought creativity and effort to go into getting these cards made as well as you know it is a financial investment you know finding the right printer i wanted to make sure it was made in the usa that the quality of the cards are good you know so i get it it's it's a lot and i don't think people understand how much goes into everything that is self-made you know, um, when it's on a big corporation, you know, like Walmart or this and that, even Amazon at this point, it's like, okay, a lot of that is mass produced and, you know, made in factories and whatnot. You know, yeah, I'm getting these printed in a printer, but it's like a small printer here in Florida, you know, so it's, it's more mom and pop. So it's like when you buy for me or like another, let's say, um, entrepreneur that, you know, it's like, it's just them you're supporting so much, you know, like that person, their family, their friends, you know, it, it's as opposed to like, um, who's the guy that owns Amazon? Now you want to support him for? <laughs> Meh. That's a whole other rant and video, but you see my point. So, you know, it's, it's just, I get it. You're on the right path. It's not an easy thing, especially when you have an idea. I'm also an inventor and, oh my God, I've had so many ideas I'm going to tell you guys real quick because this one still pisses me off. I used to do merchandising at Macy's like a long, long time ago. And I used to wear, I'm from New York, so it was cold, you know. I had a scarf on, but because, like this is right before I started doing merchandising. I started off as the cashier, working the register and stuff. And then I was like, man, I don't want to deal with this anymore. And I moved into merchandising. Um, so I was at the register. And I had my scarf on, but it was a long scarf. So I tied it behind my back. So it was like, you know, around my neck the way it's supposed to be. But instead of hanging in the front, like it, it hung in the front. I don't know if you guys can see this. It hung in the front and then I tied it at the bottom of my back in the back. So this way, when I open and close the register, it's not getting in the way, you know, but it's still keeping me warm. Macy's was having a visit from corporate that day. And one of the women came up to me and says, oh, that's very interesting. What do you have there? And I said, well, I don't have a name for it yet, but it's just like my little invention, you know, so it keeps me warm while I'm here, but it's also out of the way and I can do, you know, a bunch of different things with it and play with it. She goes, huh, very interesting. I like that concept. I shit you not. About four months later, I went upstairs to where they have the juniors department. And what do I see? Oh, an infinity scarf on the freaking mannequin for, you know, new clothes that they had coming out. Oh my God. I was so mad. I started screaming a lot of foul mouth potty stuff. I was like, oh no, she did. Oh my God. There's no proof. I didn't have it copyrighted. There was no proof for me to go, oh, you stole that idea from me. But they did. <laughs> they flat out did. So now the infinity scarf is created. People are making billions of dollars and I got bub kiss. So trust me, I understand where you're coming from when it comes to, you know, having a creative thought and following through with it and having to present it to different people and stuff. And you got to go and make sure you have things copyrighted and trademarked because, you know, you don't want somebody coming out from under you and stealing your idea. And then it's like, wow, you know, that's shady. I put a lot of hard work and effort into that. You know, especially when it's already a billion dollar company. It's like, wow, you couldn't have cut me something? Come on, you know? But whatever. I let it go. Yes, it's still, you know, I tell the story and I'm like, grr, but whatever. I let it go. So now I share the story with you guys. So it's like, yeah, I understand. You know, do what you got to do. I get it. Okay. So you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing. Then we have flowers. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. So for some of you, maybe you're going to be a florist or um, doing something with, uh, it could even be like creating fake flowers, you know, doing arrangements and, you know, um, pre-selling uh, them, um, not pre-selling, selling them. Well, for some of you, maybe you'll do pre-sales, you know, that might be an idea that, you know, the guides are actually having me tell you do one of each idea that you have bundle and then do pre-sales of them. I did pre-sales of my cards before I sold them. 
because, you know, I got to make sure that the costs are covered. That's actually, since this is a career in finance reading, I feel this is appropriate for me to share this with you. Anything that you're doing, you know, you can have your own website. You can have like an Etsy shop with stuff that you're making. Um, you can do pre-sales. Okay, so this way you're not having too much money come out of pocket. You know, people will pay for the stuff and, you know, give you the money and then you'll go, oh, okay, uh, this is how many I want to order. This is how many I need to pre-sell so that this way I know, okay, the cost is covered and then the rest will be profit when I sell them. Or, okay, now I got half the money. I just got to come up with the other half of the money, depending on what you're selling and how much it costs, you know. Um, so that's another another tip for you guys. You can always do a pre-sell. I did that on my zenwithemmy.com website, and then um, I believe you can also do that at Etsy. I'm not sure though. I want to say yes. Yeah, yeah, no, yes. Actually, I think you, you can. Was that Amazon? Amazon, you can do pre-sell? I don't know. I didn't like working with Amazon. I tried to open an account with them, and it was just too much red tape. They're not looking out for the seller, and it, it was just too, it was too much. So I, I decided not to do Amazon. Um, so I have Etsy and I have, um, my zenwithemmy.com website, which is really good. Um, so yeah. All right. So back to you guys. So Capricorn, this is what I see for you. So we have here, if someone's presenting an offer to you, this is the field of work you're going to choose to go in. That's why you're turning it down. And for those of you that are presenting an offer to someone and they're turning it down, you're just going to go someplace else to someplace better, possibly on a trip or someplace around water, excuse me. And you're going to go and speak with somebody that's got more financial backing to help you out. And I feel this person is going to be more interested. And that's where you'd be on the right path to go here. So don't get discouraged, okay? All right, let's see. What other messages do we have for you? What other messages do we have for Capricorn? Oh, I just got another message for those of you with flowers. Uh, my entrepreneurs are... Floral clips. Um, I don't feel there's enough pretty ones out. Now, it could be like the little clip that you put in the hair like this, or it could be the snap clip. But the, my guides just showed me an image of um, somebody doing like pretty flowers on a clip. You know, I mean, who doesn't, what, what girl doesn't want to look cute and have flowers in her hair, but no, it's going to stay put, you know? Uh, you don't want to have like those, like when they put like flowers on a scrunchie or something like that, eh, I don't, I don't want to put my hair in a ponytail you know, and then some of the clips that they have, they're just not very, um, I don't know, they're just, the way that they're made, like, they're ugly, you know, and it's not, it's not very durable, the clip, so for those of you that are interested in doing something like that, my guides are actually telling me to let you know, that might be something also that you can do, something with um, flowers in the hair, like on a clip, okay, and then we have synchronicity, your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. So pay attention to the signs, okay, because they are definitely trying to communicate with you. I also have videos posted in my, um, on my YouTube page and my TikTok about synchronicity and angel number meetings, meanings, excuse me. So go and check that out. Also, I cover the numbers, um, 111. 222, 333, you know, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10, 10, 11, 11, and 12, 12. So go and check those out if you want to get some messages for that. And those are actually good to keep. Um, if you have TikTok, you can just like the video on there, and then you can always just easily refer to it when you see those synchronicities. Or my YouTube channel, you know, here, go find the video, save it to your watch later, or create a little playlist. You know, so this way you can always refer back to that content easily whenever you need to. It's like literally at your fingertips. Okay. So Capricorn, what other messages do we have for you? Okay, thanks. <laughs> we. What was that? That's it. That did we, 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 we. <laughs> oh, can't help it, guys. I'm a goofball. Okay, you're very close to achieving your goal, so don't give up. You're almost there. And you know what? I'm actually going to tell you this too. For those of you that are entrepreneurs and you have a product or idea that you would like to um, promote, 
I'll tell you what, you, you share on your Pinterest, Etsy, uh, well, maybe not Etsy, your Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is, whatever social media platform you're on, um, my YouTube video or um, Facebook, you share my Oracle cards and my readings and all that, anything that has to do with my stuff, then I, I say feel free to post uh, what your product is here on my YouTube. Post it in the comments so that this way other people can start to see you know, what wonderful things you got cooking, okay? I, I'm all about good karma. One hand washes the other. So you share my stuff, I'll, I'll share yours, all right? So this way we can help each other out, right? Peace and love, man, we're in this together. Okay, so a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo, okay? Uh, you might be dealing with a Virgo. Could be new moon in Virgo. Look to see when that is, or it may just be Virgo season or the new moon. This is only if you give a crap about timing. If you don't, then don't worry about it. It's fine. It's just simply the message, a time to give rather than take, okay? So for some of you, it might be um, a good idea to give back, which is funny that I read that after I just said this. Give back. One hand washes the other. It's true, though. I mean, it, it's all part of the law of attraction. You know, you treat people the way you want to be treated. The universe is paying attention. The way you think, the way you do things is how the universe reads you and then says, oh, okay, let me give you that in return. So if you are disliking people's videos or bashing people or, you know, you just want to, you know, take, take, take and you don't give back, then the universe is going to give you the same negativity that you dish out. This is all between you and the universe and nobody else, you know? Um, so... I would suggest as an exercise, just across the board, having nothing to do with anything, just for good karma, every YouTube video that you watch, like it. If you're not interested at all, then you don't have to like it. Just watch something else. But do not, do not thumbs down any of the videos anywhere. If you don't like it, just move on. Don't even put bad comment, nothing. Just move on and do this for at least seven days. Just like videos. Even if you don't think, oh my God, this video is amazing. Just like it. Show support for, you know, the person putting in the time and effort to do whatever it is that they're doing. And you will see over the, the length of seven days how much more good is going to come back to you. Because now you're showing peace and love. You're, you're actually doing it. You're acting on it. You're not just saying it. You're not just thinking it. You're doing it. You're showing love. And that's the universe gives you that back times three. All right. All right. So now let's see. I'm going to go to my cards here. As I said, I was going to use them and say, who are you dealing with? All right. So who, who is this king of pentacles that you're going to be going to here to help you out? Let's see. What are their initials? Where do they live? If it's a place around water, you know, or that you're traveling to them, where are you traveling to? Let's get some more details about the situation with the king of pentacles. Okay. Oh, these are the only two that flipped. Everything else is face down. So you might be dealing with somebody that's a, a junior or JR. Okay. Now, a lot of cards came out. It's a general reading, so I may miss um, what resonates with you. But as long as you see it and it makes sense, that's what matters. Okay, so I'm getting Tennessee, Kentucky, Washington, Virginia, um, Hawaii, Georgia, and Montana, okay, so all the states that are coming through, and I'll show you, M, G, someone might also be working for MGM, or maybe, oh, do you got a script, oh, tell us what it's about, you going to MGM, okay, H, V, W, oh, I got a good script too, I got to get a hold of Adam Sandler, because he would be the perfect person to do my movie. Adam Sandler, anybody that knows Adam Sandler, please get this to him. Let's do a movie, darling. T and K. I said Tennessee, Kentucky. I'm also getting um, Kansas. I think I said Tennessee and Kansas. Now I'm also getting Kentucky. Okay. All right. So this is someone's initials, name of the business, where you might be traveling to. All right. So again, J, R, T, K, 
W V ah, H and M G. All right, so those are your messages, Capricorn. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Um, peace and love. Comment down below, uh, like we said before. And um, we, meaning me and my guides. <laughs> Uh, if you want daily content and fun content, follow me on TikTok. I got that link down below. Check out my merch shelf. Um, support my merch. Buy some merch. Sport a nice Zen Within Me shirt or hat or something along those lines. Um, show everyone that you are Zen Within You. You got peace and love, baby. And um, if you want a private reading or to buy these oracle cards, go to ZenWithinMe.com or my Etsy shop. Everything else is down there below in the description box. Peace and love, guys. Good luck with everything that you have going on, and I will see you in the next reading. Hey everyone, so I started a fundraiser. Um, I'm trying to raise $500, and it's with Greater Good Charities, as you can see here. So I've already made a donation, and this is what it tells you it is for. So in any given night, there are 17 out of every 10,000 people in America who are experiencing homelessness. When you give today, you are putting a good pack full of essentials in the hands of someone without the security of a home. So this is going for our veterans and their doggies. Look at the little doggies right there. So cute. Okay. So this is what you can donate. You can put other whatever you like you can donate in memory of someone but you see here as it says it's for good packs that includes like food toothpaste toothbrushes you know you go and you check the the website here and it will give you more details I will have the link in the comments so you guys can contribute to uh, reaching the goal here thanks so much in advance peace and love